ma'am, excuse me. Could you buy this pineapple for me? I need I money don't want to travel anything. to. Get out of the way! I'm sweeping. Just... Okay, sorry. Excuse me. Could you buy this pineapple? I need to travel, and I have no money. Why would I buy that old pineapple from you? I don't have any money. Get okay, out of my sorry. way. Okay, Thank you. I'm sorry. Could you buy this pineapple for me? I need money to travel. Oh, the thing is that I haven't sold almost anything. I don't think I can help you, my friend. Oh, that was my truck. And it's leaving. Really? I didn't get to buy a ticket. But look, I can help you with a dollar for the next one. Can you help me with that? Yes, have you eaten? No, my friend, I haven't eaten anything. Come with me. I can invite you a bowl of soup and a glass of water. Uh, of course, my friend. Are you selling with your child in your arms? Yes, I have no one to help me with it. Oh, okay, who do you live with? With my mom and... but I leave her alone because she is sick. But no, I have no one to take care of my son. I see. Well, I accept your invitation. Look, poor baby, he is very sleepy. Oh yes, I woke him up too early. Can I help you with your basket? Yes, come with me. Sure, come on, I follow you. Thank you very much. What's your name, sorry? Maria. Nice to meet you, Maria. I'm John. Welcome to my house. Thank you. Do you live here? Yes, I live here. Okay, thank you very go much. Ahead, oh, look, in. you have a virgin at the door. Yes, go ahead. Thank you very much. It is that we are very devoted. Here on that side, in the dining room. To the dining room? Okay. May I sit here? Sure, sit down. I'm going to leave your candy yeah, here. Yeah, don't worry. Can I offer you a glass of water? Yes, please. Hey, how did the kid calm down, right? Yes, Look, but... it looks like I said to cry. But it's all right, sister! To keep him calm. Good afternoon. Is she your sister? Yes, she's my sister. She sometimes comes to take care of my mom. Because she is a little sick, while I go out to sell some candy to support the house. I see. You were telling me a little while ago that you weren't having a good time. We are in a difficult situation. We are going a bit hungry because... But you still gave me a dollar. Mm, was it what you sold today or what? Yes, well, even if I don't sell well, I try to support however I can, because I know how difficult it is. Life. I mean, sometimes we don't have enough money to eat. I know how it feels. Yes, you are right, Maria. I really want to thank you for the good deed you did. I was selling this pineapple because, as I told you, I don't even have enough to drink water. Ah, I didn't even have enough money to buy a sandwich. I don't have any money right now, to tell you the truth. And you... You practically offered me this dollar, and I'm really grateful to you for that. I asked about three or four people if they wanted to buy the pineapple, and they didn't. They threw the pineapple on the floor, just imagine that. Uh, oh no, it's too bad. It's too bad they are like that. Well, nowadays there is not much empathy for people like that. And it's very bad because sometimes you need help. You need help and so on. And then people ignore you or make bad faces at you, and of course. that's too bad. Hey, tell me about you. So your mom is the one who is sick? Yes, she is sick. We think she has diabetes, but sometimes we don't even have enough money to go to the doctor. Don't you have enough money for the no, studies? we don't have one. And she is here, she is in a walker, and so on. Just now my sister came to visit me. Good for you to help with the child? Yes, he was crying a lot. But we are trying to get by, little by little, for the little we earn from the candy. Of course. Look, I see you have some clothes back there. Do you sell them, or do you wash them? Well, sometimes the neighbors bring me to wash their clothes, or something like that. Or I'm in a group of neighbors who bring me help, support, and so on to sell in the markets. To help us make some money. Okay. To earn a little bit more money. To buy food, not Good just for soup. some protein, right? In fact, those are the soups you have. Yes, John. Look, I have a little bit here. No, you have a lot. This is all we are filling right now, and that is what helps us a little. Uh, of course it's good. Soups always give energy. Yes. I also see back there, my dear Maria, that you have a lot of religious images, don't you? Yes, we are very devout here, and we ask a lot to the Virgin and to God that... to help my mother recover. That heals, right? They are miracles. 
The truth is that we pray a lot. She has worked miracles for us. My uncles have recovered and so on. And that's what we do. We pray and hope for a miracle. That's good. I pass you a plate? Yes, please. A plate would help me. Yes. Thank you very much. Hey, do you like pineapple? Yes, yeah, sure. It's good fruit. Tastes good, doesn't yes, it? Yes, I like it very much. I want to ask you a question and I want you to be honest with me. Why, if I am a stranger, did you invite me to run to your house? What happens is that in the community we support each other. In fact, we make rosaries here to pray to God. And as I said, we are very devout and we like to pray to God to help us and to help us do better. And we like to support other people. Okay, I see. Look, John, it is a very humble home and anyone is welcome to support it. My dad taught me that you are never denied a plate of food and a glass of water. Oh, that's nice, but don't say it's really humble. You have a house, you have a roof to sleep under, you have a bed, you sleep warm, you have food. Sure, I mean that. I see you have your little glasses. You have everything. It's fine. It's super fine. Imagine, I have met people who don't even have a house or a place to sleep. They sleep under a yes, bridge. You are right. Imagine that. Look, humble but cleanliness is not at odds with poverty. Oh, well said, that's true. What, would you like a bowl of soup? No, 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 don't worry, Maria. It's not necessary. Please, it is delicious. Well, okay, thank you. Did you cook it? Yeah. To be honest, it smelled great since I walked in. That's fine. That's enough. Sure. There are still more if you want. No, no, no. Sure. That's fine. Thank Hope you very you like much. It. Oh, how tasty. Is it noodle soup? Let's see. Let me... It smells so good, it must be very tasty. Hey, Maria, can I ask you something about your tattoos? Sure. Do they have any meaning? Well, some of them yes and some of them no. But for example, this heart. My dad passed away and, well, for him, I wore the heart. You carry it in your heart, right? How nice. That's right. It's okay. I think it's a nice meaning that... that you always carry that with you and... That left you good lessons, and you are also a very good woman. I mean, you cook, you cook delicious, and more than that, you like pineapple. Yes, of course, it is very tasty. Hey, I'm going to ask you something. If you right now, you would win. By fate, I don't know. Some, let's see. Three thousand, four thousand dollars. What would you do with that money right now? What would you do? Well, first of all, take my mom for a consultation and then to see what she has, buy her medicine. And then support what? Would you buy any other furniture? Well, just in case we need some, but not for the moment. Better medicine. Save. You would save? Save also for... Okay. Whatever is needed. Hey, good thinking. Good ideas. I'm really glad you think like that. And now tell me, these candies, how do you manage to buy them? Who gives you that money? Well, it's the same money I make. I sell them, and what little I get, I restock and so on. And the rest I use for food and so on. Hey, you know that if I'm really interested in the soup, I'm going sure, to try it. go ahead. Let's see. Oh, it's very hot, very tasty, Maria. Give me a minute. Is it tasty? I can't believe it. It's delicious. You are a very good cook. Thank you. If you like, I'll serve you more. No, no, I'm fine now. We'll talk and eat more at ease, right? Tell me about the sweets, please. How do you get them? Well, look. The idea is to sell burritos and sandwiches as well. In fact, my ex-husband left me. Oh, jeez. I had to resort to sales and so on. And I went to a bus station to ask permission if they would let me sell outside. What was it where I found you? That's right, but sometimes I do struggle a lot to buy what is needed to make them. Maria, I never usually ask the following questions, believe me. But today, I want to do it because you gave me a good feeling. What happened with your husband? Why did he leave you? Well, he also worked at the bus station, and that's why they gave me the opportunity to work there, because they already knew us. W well, he was a little abusive with my son and with me. 
and he couldn't handle the responsibility. But it doesn't matter, I can be mother and father at the same time. Uh, you're right. We can get through this together, alone. I'm glad you think this way, and that you know that you don't depend on a person who, emotionally, does not generate stability for you. That's right. And that you and your child's happiness come first and foremost. I am really glad that this is the case. Now tell me about your mommy. How long ago she was diagnosed with this disease? My mommy has been sick for about half a year now. Half a year? Wow, that's quite a lot. My mom has been struggling to walk for about half a year now, but we haven't had the opportunity to take her for a consultation. We know she's sick, but we don't know... N okay, I understand. So you still do not have a clear diagnosis? They have suspicions, but no diagnosis. No, I haven't. But because you diagnosed her... Yes, that's a guess. But you should take her for consultation, Maria, soon. But we don't have the money. I know, but... The consultations, the medicines. I see that your eyes are filling up with tears. Yes, it is very sad to struggle with these situations. But you are strong and you don't give up. No, no, no. Well, it's just that we have a lot of energy and that's what we can do. Yes, you're right. Hey, Maria, do you have any future plans? It's difficult in my situation. To keep selling candy is the only thing I can do. Let's see. Tell me how much you sell these chocolates for. The 50 cents. 50? And how many does the box contain? Ten. Ten. So this box generates five dollars? Yeah. And it costs you? Three dollars. Three? So you are earning two dollars per box? Yes. It's nothing. It's nothing. And this box of gum? Four dollars. Well, four dollars what it costs you? Yes. And how much do you sell each piece of gum for? Twenty cents. Okay, so... That's forty-seven pieces. Okay. Okay, and how much does it cost you for this gum in a box? Three. Okay. That is, on a daily basis, if you make a good investment. Yes, but I earn very little money. What else can I do? I mean, my child will not grow up with just soup. No, it obviously needs nutrients. I don't know what to do sometimes. You tell me what to do. I don't know. Sometimes Look, world... I know you are a woman warrior. You want to work, don't you? You want to get ahead? Yes, I want to work. Maria, you have so many problems, and yet you decided to buy this pineapple from me. Well, yes, John, but it's not much. I mean, I saw you very needy, and I wanted to help you because it's very bad to go through that situation. At least I have a bowl of soup to eat, but you hadn't eaten anything. Well, look, I'm going to move I the bowl of soup a little bit. I have felt what you were feeling, and it is very bad not to be eating. Look, Maria, I want to thank you very much. I have to go now, but first I have to deliver you. Your pineapple, I don't think we're going to need it. I'm going to give you the pineapple just as it is. You really... You touched my heart. I want to thank you for inviting me to your home. I really got into the kitchen. And that you offered me this little dish. For me, it's something wonderful. And now it's my turn to reward you. It's my turn to give you your pineapple. No, don't Thank worry. You. you take it. In fact, I mean, I don't know if you want a blanket, a little plate of soup to take no, away no, no. or something. Don't go hungry, it's cold. On the contrary, I'm going to give you what belongs to you. Thank you very much indeed for having given me the opportunity to enter your home. And that you have told me all your story. That you are a faithful, fervent follower of God. That you ask him to help you, and he helps you. So just like that, then, this is yours. But it is not It's yours necessary. for real. Well, what is this? John, this is too much money. What is this? Well, it's for you, Maria, for helping me. But no, I mean this... Oh, no. I just don't know what to say. You don't have to tell me anything. But it's a lot of money. It's for you. It's the $4,000 I told you about. Oh, God. I'll be able to cure my mom and consult. Of course. Of course it is. It's for you. It can't be. I can't believe it! Calm down. All that you ask the universe, and that you have asked God, 
I believe that today came. But this is a lot of money, John. I've never seen so much money in my life. It's not bad at all. No, you have nothing to worry about. It's the money I promised you. But it's too much. No, I can't believe this. What do I do with so much money? No, don't worry. Look, everything will be all right. I don't know what to do with so much money. Look, do you have a bank account? No, I don't. Don't worry. I will open one for you so you can keep your money there and withdraw it whenever you need it. We are going to do it too. A savings fund so your mom can go to the doctor whenever she needs to. I have the best doctors in town. So that they can give you a firm diagnosis so that you won't be there like, let's see what's wrong. To see what disease it might be, but to give her a good diagnosis. Okay, that way I'll be able to help you. As you helped me. I want to thank you very much. Thank you very much. John, I thank you very much for all your help and support. Thanks to you. And I did it from my heart. I didn't do it out of interest for something. I, I know. I didn't know that you had so much money. And that's why you passed that test, woman. I promise you that. Because you did it without... You didn't even know that money was there. Thank you for opening the doors of your house. It's very nice. You have everything in its place, well arranged. The baby's kennel, the soups, your little kitchen, where to wash, you have everything. And congratulations for that, and thank you for having helped me, and thank you for the soup that you also gave me. That it was delicious, okay? Well, I'm out of here. Come on, I'll go with you. Yes, of course. Let's go on helping people. 